Hi guys, the second major lunation of the month is coming up on Thursday, June 24th. I'm here to tell you all about the full moon in Capricorn and break it down for your rising sign. Stick around. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer. Um, I'm offering readings and insights. Check out the links below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would appreciate that quite a lot. So this full moon, it's happening on June 24th at 2.39 p.m. at 3 degrees Capricorn. If you have any planets in Capricorn or other cardinal signs like Aries, Libra and Cancer, you will feel this lunation especially strongly. So full moons are always about completion. They are about release and endings and chapters in our life closing so that the space can be open for something new. Here we're dealing with a dynamic of Cancer versus Capricorn, of familial relationship versus your professional relationships, of feelings versus your ambitions, your desires, and kind of like, you know, the warmth of home and family versus your worldly pursuits and worldly successes. Since this is a Capricorn full moon, you will likely see um, a cycle of professional material growth that got started with a new moon in Capricorn on January 13th come full circle. So look back, take a look, of course, based on the house, there will be different themes, more on that in a little bit, but just take a look at your life back then and see what was happening, what projects did you start, what kind of thoughts were you thinking, what were your relationships like, because you will definitely see them progressing and changing as this lunation rolls around. There are some lovely aspects. There's also this full moon is happening right after Venus opposes Pluto, which is an emotionally intense transit that can bring secrets might come to light. There might be realizations and relationships. There might be frustrations. There's also healing possible, but definitely expect intense feelings surrounding your relationships and possibly your finances your money how do you handle finances in your relationships how do you handle power who has more power in relationships i think part of this lunation could very much be about healing the dynamics if something isn't working now is the time to even the scales you know full moon release something that doesn't serve you and bring back something that does Jupiter is sextiling this lunation. Jupiter is in its home sign of Pisces, very strong planet, um, promising positive results. So if you are closing a professional cycle, even if you are leaving a relationship, even if things are not working anymore, there's still positivity to it from Jupiter. So your faith is strong, your beliefs are helping you, your life philosophy, or maybe just the fact that you feel like the future holds so much more is um, beneficial, I think. Just, you know, knowing that there's something on the horizon that makes you happy um, colors this lunation with a positive light. Obviously, we're still dealing with the Uranus-Saturn square, the energy is still lingering, so the frustrations of things not moving as quickly and maybe like needing to pivot, needing to adjust are still in the air like you're you're ready for change you have all these ideas all these projects all these ambitions but you need to take it slow and i think we will see some of that in this lunation as well so let's take a look at all the 12 signs i would look at your rising sign also possibly your sun sign but most it's going to be most accurate for your rising sign. So if you are an Aries rising, this full moon is happening in your 10th house of career and profession, reputation, status, and it's sextiling Jupiter in the 12th house. So quite naturally with the 10th house professional things, right? Like there is a completion. What have you been doing back in January? Like what was your professional life like in January of 2021? Maybe you are completing a work project. Maybe you are leaving a job that you've, maybe it was like a freelance job and you started it and now you feel like it's over or the project is over. So you may decide to go, maybe it's time for you to go in the new direction. Um, there might be changes in your professional life as far as like, you know, bosses, changes, maybe like 
maybe you're moving somewhere because it's looking at the house of home and family maybe you're addressing the needs of your family and that kind of calls your professional life to change as well there might be there might be something coming from like foreign lands foreign cultures maybe the job takes you to a foreign place maybe you start to work with foreign people maybe you're joining a company that works with um you know maybe it's like import export company that sells things to other countries so there might be positive things coming from jupiter in the 12th house through like either your new maybe your new path is also quite spiritual because that's what jupiter in the 12th house is sometimes sometimes there might be that desire to like help and heal people and maybe your status is changing due to the fact that you're becoming more spiritually mature more spiritually aware and maybe more focused on like volunteering and giving back uh, if you are a Taurus rising, this new moon, full moon, is happening in your ninth house with the sun opposing it from the third and Jupiter being in your 11th house. So once again, take a look back at um, January 13th and see what was started in your life back then. Maybe you are completing education maybe you're graduating maybe you have been dealing with a legal matter that oftentimes is seen through the lens of the ninth house so maybe there's been like a legal issue where you were suing someone or you were getting sued and now you're getting a chance to see the end to that um, there might be together with changes in education ninth house is connected to publishing so maybe you've been writing something maybe you started a writing project maybe if you have like a social media page you started um, to work on a project that has to do with that and now you're completing it there might be something might be changing in your location as well because ninth house has to do with travel and trips and like um you know expansion of the world both through educational pursuits but also through literal taking trips and going places so maybe you've moved somewhere nine months ago and now you're finally feeling six months ago now you're finally feeling um at peace maybe jupiter in the 11th makes you feel supported like you have a sense of community now um that you have people appreciating you and helping you get your dreams and hopes and aspirations get realized but take a look at january 13th and see what kind of international or educational or publishing type of projects were started back then if you are a Gemini rising, this full moon is happening in your 8th house with Jupiter sextiling it from the 10th house of career and profession. So this, these are houses that deal with money oftentimes or deal with um, you know, the world recognizing you, especially with Jupiter in the 10th house, so quite literally with the full moon in the 8th. Look back at January and see if you've applied for any loans, if you've applied for any scholarships, if you've lended money to someone if you've put your resources together with someone else maybe on a group project one of my friends has been working with a life coach for a while and that might be a part of it too where like you joined forces with a life coach or someone who can possibly help you and now with jupiter being in the 10th house you house you can see the results of that you can finally rip the rewards of that or maybe you're paying off a debt maybe you're getting a bonus professionally um definitely take a look back at january this can also be connected to healing and maybe releasing some of the fears like what once again if you look back at january and you consider what were your desires back then and like were you limiting yourself were you talking some kind of like negative self-talk and maybe this time around you have the power to push that aside right and heal a part of you and transform a part of you very much i think also dynamics between like my money and their money and how dependent you are on someone else there might be a change happening there as well like where if you are financially dependent on someone, maybe you're leaving that behind, then maybe you're be beginning to rely on yourself a lot more. Whatever changes are about to happen, they look promising just because of that Jupiter in the 10th house is blessing your professional life. Kind of like you are detangling yourself from the debts and obligations you have to other people and 
liberating, liberating yourself and starting a new chapter. If you are a cancer rising, this moon is happening in this full moon is happening in your house of significant relationships. And so expect changes in your romantic relationships and your business partnerships. Once again, take a look back at January 13th and see have you gotten in a new relationship? Have you partnered up with someone on a business project? Have you been considering some kind of business ideas that maybe now are coming full circle and bringing you good results? Um, as often as always, full moon being that time of release and endings, it could signify an end of a relationship or closing a relationship, but likely you will not feel too sad about it because like Jupiter is in your ninth house calling you to explore and expand and go out there and travel new places or meet foreign people, you know, it's there's a strong desire to kind of like open up your world to new possibilities so you may be feeling like relationship is limiting or the dynamic you have with people in your life like maybe there's all these obligations that are frustrating and limiting to you and now you're letting them go for the purpose of finding your next quest and your next journey if you are a leo rising um this full moon is happening in your sixth house with Jupiter sextiling it from the eighth house. Very good energy for work. Feels like maybe you've been working on a, on a project professionally. Maybe relationships with colleagues haven't been as easy. Maybe there's been some like glitches or frustrations there and now you're getting to kind of wrap that up and maybe close that work project. Looks like successfully because Jupiter is aspecting it once again from the eighth house of like other people's money so you can expect um you can expect financial benefits but you can also possibly expect like recognition or you know this this is this can signify a change in your work environment as well maybe you've completed a work project and now you feel ready to move on because you you feel like you've gotten as much as you possibly could have gotten and then jupiter in your eighth house is saying like there's all these blessings to be had from collaborating with others from you know venturing ahead facing our fears pulling our financial or intellectual or other material kinds of resources with someone else and working on our passion projects so i think that could be very much the theme of this lunation there might be changes with your pets like if you were thinking of getting a pet maybe you're getting one um if you've been dealing with any health issue or if you've been planning to start a new diet a new exercise routine this will be a time where you can finally either see the results like you know if you've in back if back in january for example you decided to quit smoking now you can finally like run a mile without losing your breath you can see definitely like health benefits from this lunation as well as well as like mental health because jupiter being in the eighth um topics of death and rebirth part of you dying um a new happier part of you being reborn or like a healthier part whether mentally or physically if you are a virgo rising this uh, full moon is happening in your fifth house with Jupiter sextiling it from the seventh house. So this this really feels good for your relationships. Um, you know, if there was a relationship that felt confusing, maybe you weren't sure where it's, go where it's going, you may now get some clarity. Maybe you're moving it to a more serious level. That's definitely a possibility. Like it looks positive from Jupiter being in the seventh house maybe you've been working on a creative project take a look back at january 2021 january 13th have you started a creative project maybe you're meeting a mentor or maybe you're getting some kind of support and either you are now moving that project to a new level or you are completing it and you're ready for something new um so definitely topics of romance creativity and children as well like this is the house of children so this could signify getting pregnant this could signify having a child and a child is both literal child and sometimes it's that like creative baby project right that you've been working on maybe you've been seeking a new job and like trying to feel trying to find your purpose and now you get like a mentor you get someone who can help 
because fifth house is ultimately a house of like good fortune it's the house of fun it's the house that holds all the things that you like to do so i think quite literally you may get a chance to do more fun things in life and things you actually enjoy through the help of someone possibly in the seventh house be that your partner or your mentor teacher guru type person or on a more spiritual level maybe look back at january maybe you weren't having enough fun and now you're getting to have more fun maybe you're getting to go out and meet friends and you're finding a lot of satisfaction there if you are a libra rising this is all about your home and family and your home life as well so the moon full moon is in your fourth house um and it's sextiling jupiter in the sixth house so there could be shifts around your parents around your family dynamics maybe you're moving in with a parent maybe you maybe the parent is moving in with you maybe there's changes in your living situation maybe you're moving maybe you're going to renovate your house there's a lot of possibilities um look back at january 13th what was happening with your familial dynamics i'm a libra rising and i before recording this video i took a look back and like the night of the new moon in january i had a dream about my grandparents and they both passed away last year so you know maybe for me personally it's like the moment of release there and it doesn't always have to be quite literal where like you I mean the major changes happening in your house sometimes it's more kind of inner world change right because fourth house is your home and family and then fourth house is also your safety and security and there's a lot of stuff going on for Libra risings around the topics of like pleasure and fears and intimacy and I think you know when you're dealing with that Saturn square Uranus between like the the house of pleasure and fun and the house of intimacy and fears there is a lot of like inner tension and maybe a lack of fun so with the full moon in the fourth house sextiling Jupiter in the sixth you might be finding fun you might be finding inner comfort in yourself or in your home or in your job you know coming from the sixth house maybe you're devoting yourself to something that is very sixth house that is like serving others that's taking care of others and that brings a sense of like comfort and change so i would look i would look at that and i would try to find some you know positive manifestations internally and externally if you are a scorpio rising this full moon is happening in your third house with jupiter being in the fifth house of creativity romance and children so full moon in the third house can bring changes around the topics of your siblings Take a look back at January 13th, 2021. What was happening in the life of your sibling? Maybe they were moving. Maybe they were getting pregnant. Maybe you, you know, maybe they left home and now they're coming back. There could be like reconnecting with a sibling could be a part of it. There could be changes in your neighborhood or as well i would say like changes to the way you communicate and the way you express things capricorn is a very a very ambition driven sign it's the sign that you know the lower vibrational is materialistic but also a sign that's very grounded like that's why capricorn is that goat that can climb the steep surfaces like it's it's always keeping feet on the ground and it's able to like reach success in all the challenging places so with um full moon happening in your house of communication and siblings and your neighborhood you might be questioning like are you communicating in the way that supports your ambitions is your technology because third house is also the house of technology is your technology supporting your ambitions right sometimes full moon in the third house could literally bring like a breakdown to your car or you decide to upgrade your car um, sometimes there is more of a need to take short trips. Maybe you're visiting a sibling, maybe you're visiting your family. Um, there might be there might be some kind of like journey you're embarking on or a class that you're taking, maybe like a skill that you started learning back in January that now you are like you feel like you can present it to the world, like say you were you started learning tarot and now maybe you can see your first client and doesn't have to be necessarily like, you know, full of success right away but it can totally be um 
a feeling of completion because Jupiter being in the fifth house is saying that there is joy to be found in your creative pursuits. You know, there, this could also signify um, a success of a blog or success of a writing project because that's what third house holds sometimes. And I wonder if um, there's also a possibility of, for some of you, of the changes having to do with children. Maybe the life of your child is changing. Maybe your child has started, um, has like, there could be some kind of change connected to like a child or a creative project that um, gets, you know, triggered by this lunation. But if you have kids, look back at January and take a look at what was happening in their lives. Um, if you are a Sagittarius rising, this full moon is happening in your second house and Jupiter is sextiling it from your fourth house. So this is affecting your resources, similarly to Gemini risings. There is a balance that you need to find between your personal resources and other people's finances. And with the full moon being in the second house, there could be changes around your money and around your financial situation, as well as your values. But let's stick with money first. So if there are changes happening in your finances, it could be a few things, right? Like it could be getting resources from someone else. Um, with Jupiter being in the fourth house, it feels like maybe your family is providing you with some money. Um, maybe you're using this money to make a big purchase. With a full moon in the second house, it's not always about money coming in. Sometimes it's a big sum of money coming out. So you might be investing money into buying a house. Maybe your family is helping you kind of, you know, put the down payment together and get a home. Maybe you're like receiving an inheritance. Uh, definitely watch out for changes around resources coming in and going out. Uh, there's also a possibility of letting go of a source of income, I would say, like if you've been working at a job that's felt unsatisfying and frustrating and you've been ready for a change, now could be the time when maybe your family member, once again, you know, like fourth house, maybe a family member provides you with an opportunity or maybe there's a chance to move somewhere uh, with Jupiter being the fourth and by moving somewhere you obviously invest money into the move but then you also find a new source of income and that changes your house of money and as far as values go um, take a look back with all of these take a look back at January 13th and see with the second house being like you know how do you where do you find your self-worth um, because it's, it's looking, it's always looking at your eighth house and it's always looking at other people and their things and their ideas and their values. So here it's almost like you are being called to let go of some of that tendency to maybe see yourself through the eyes of other people and find that inner source of confidence and security and stability. If you are a Capricorn rising, this is pretty big. This full moon is happening in your first house of self and it's sextiling Jupiter in the third house of community, communication and siblings. So there's a change happening in your identity. And I would take a look back at January 13th at the new moon in Capricorn and see what was happening with your body what was happening with your appearance, what was happening in your life, even with your relationships or your professional life, um, or your sense of confidence, sense of identity. What was it based on? Because right now you've been working for the past six months on something and you, you're almost like closing a cycle of maybe defining yourself one way and starting a different cycle. Um, there might be change in your appearance, there might be a completion of a project that required a lot of physical labor or the project that you pioneered, something that you were leading. There might be, maybe you're ending a bad habit, maybe changes are happening in your health, like, you know, if you've been struggling, if you've been battling something, like, yeah, like either, either a bad habit or if you've been dealing with a health issue, it can now come to an end. Um, changes in relationships are possible too that might come from like your partner's actions possibly or maybe 
um, from like the news you receive from a sibling that's just thinking with Jupiter being in the third house. Maybe you're starting a blog, maybe you're starting a new class, you know, maybe you're discovering yourself, maybe you're like really questioning who am I. Um, definitely something is changing. Like say you're not a parent and you found out you're you're gonna have a child. So that's, you know, a major change in identity that is connected to having a baby and your body is changing and everything is changing. So um, definitely a lot of exciting possibilities, I would say, and it looks like it will be positive or it will maybe even connect you more with your siblings or maybe it will make you express yourself in a different way with Jupiter being in your third house. If you are an Aquarius rising, this full moon is happening in your 12th house with Jupiter sextiling it from the second house. So full moon in the 12th. Um, this is the, the tricky place always, right? It's the place of uh, spirituality and your self-limiting beliefs and hidden enemies. And 99.9% .9 the hidden enemy is you yourself. So take a look back at January 13th and see what kind of um, events happen in your life that maybe have thrown you off balance? You know, this could be a great time to reflect and release some of the past issues, some of the past relationships, some of the traumas or challenges and um, do more healing, right? Like it's a great time to spend some time alone, to meditate, to journal, to try therapy. Maybe you started therapy six months ago and now you actually see the benefits of it and you can you can kind of like finally feel the results of the work that you've been putting in um very much about balancing your mental health with your physical health there has been a lot of pressures with saturn being in your first house and questions of like responsibilities and identity and who am i and being very thorough and very like serious at examining yourself um maybe you've been too focused on the needs of other people or maybe you've been too stressed about what the next chapter of your life will be that you've been neglecting your mental health and very much you know like whenever 12th house gets involved i always think of like negative self-talk and being harsh on yourself and being too critical of yourself so how can you change that right like how can you change um, sentences like it will never happen to a sentence like if I put in the work it might happen right so at least there is some room <laughs> there's a chance for things changing versus being more negative so look at your subconscious look at your listen to your intuition look at your self-defeating thoughts and even things you say in everyday life because I think sometimes the way we communicate is so clear um, and maybe some of the things you're saying to yourself or to other people can be changed for the better. If you are a Pisces rising, this full moon is happening in your 11th house and it's sextiling Jupiter in your first house. So there's changes in your social networks and it could be quite literally changes in your like on your social media and maybe you're starting a page and um, you're like beginning to grow a following. Maybe you've done it with like the new moon in Capricorn on January 13th. Maybe you've started a page and now you see kind of you're ready for the next chapter, possibly. This could also signify changes in your friendships. Like either you feel like you've outgrown some of your friendships. You may feel like they're no longer supportive. Maybe you're looking to with Jupiter being in the first, maybe you're looking to put yourself out there and present yourself in a brand new light. And you are realizing that some people are not supporting that or some people are not supportive of your success. And maybe you are reevaluating your connections. This could also signify a completion of a dream because 11th house is quite literally the house of hopes and dreams. And maybe something you've been dreaming about has happened for you or you need to, maybe you need to pivot. Maybe it didn't happen and now you're looking at it and realizing that that's not what you want anymore. Regardless of what it is, Jupiter is in your first house. It is, you know, about to go, when I'm recording this, it's about to go retrograde. So 
it will go back into your 12th, but then all of 2022, for the most part, it's going to be in your first house. So there's lots of possibilities. You can make yourself into whoever you want to be. You can start a lot of new things like Jupiter is blessing you with a lot of opportunities right now. And I think right before you go and decide on what that next opportunity is, it could be a good time to redefine what you want and make some changes in your life. So this is all I have. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.